So today is the 19th of April. Yeah, so this is, they're probably exactly one month old. You know, I didn't hear from the CPA. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> oh, no. oh my gosh, they're going down, swimming around underneath. Holy mackerel. I saw that. No way. You saw it? Wow, how That's cool so is that? Cool. Anyway, got a couple of little duckies. Hey, Mom. Couple little duckies that I wanted to take you on a little tour and show you the uh, bonsai garden, the pool, so forth. We've got a couple ducks. <laughs> and there's little little ducklings, and they're getting ready to be released on the, in the pond. Here is a uh, really cool ponytail palm bonsai that I picked up from Weigert's uh, several years ago and it's in the shape of uh, I think an elephant trunk with water spurting out that's what the leaves are but it fell against a wall years and years ago and it grew this way <coughs> excuse me oh well I'll have that recorded in my video here's a little uh Root over rock, root over rock. There's the rock. Ah, excuse me, sun got me. Little ficus that I uh, trimmed all the top branches off a few months ago and I'm regrowing the top. A lot of the boogies are in full bloom. There's another, uh, I need to do some work on this guy, but other ficus root over rock. But the real thing I want to show you is out here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go out on the other side. Here's a little jade. But what I really want to show you is an update on the uh, banyan ficus that I made from an air root, banyan air root. Hope I'm not getting my hands in the way here. Remember, I'm not a professional. Banyan air root, by the way, is really kind of a cool jade that is, I've got grown over this rock. And I think one of these days I might be able to take it out, trim it up, and turn it into a kind of a really cool uh, cascade. Before I go out and show you the banyan, That is actually an extra leaf from, from belong to this ficus. This guy looks nice. Took him apart, defoliated a little while ago, a couple, maybe a month or two ago. Cleaned it all up. The thing I want you to see, the update on, is back here. <laughs> this is the banyan air root ficus and what I did was I trimmed off all of the top branches to about four maybe five inches long and this is what happened I think it's gorgeous so the head now is grown back out. And what I like about this more than anything is how dense it is. How dense that head is. And what's happening is you can see 
the branches are kind of growing down. Kind of growing down. Kind of like, got a little thrip there, but that's no big deal. Kind of growing down and uh, like a weeping willow. Look how dense that is. I'm really excited about that. So it's still doing really well, obviously. It's not just growing in the pot anymore, but it's got a couple of uh, escape routes. There's one. I think there's a couple more out the back. It's likely to crack this pot one of these days. But since I'm having another hip replacement done in three weeks, I'm... Uh, not gonna do anything about this. I'm just gonna let it go. So this is the update I really wanted to show you. So I think this thing has really turned out really cool. I didn't think it was gonna put a new head out like that dense. But it has. Just that blue sky is gorgeous. few odds and ends over here. Oh, just noticed uh, in here, my plumeria, my pink plumeria is really starting to flower. And I've got a couple of different plumerias in here. I've got a white one and a pink one. And uh, they're starting to flower and I'll be cut, continuing to cut this back and make it more and more dense at the top. And down here I've got a cypress, bald, bald cypress, that uh, I actually fused, I think three or four trunks together. And uh, over the last few years, because it's planted in an area that fills up with water once in a while. It's part of the pond. It's part of the littoral shelf, actually. This is the end of the pond. And sometimes it fills up, but most of the time it just stays wet. It loves this spot. And I'll be cutting that back pretty soon and uh, turn that one into a really cool bonsai. There you go. I love that thing. Probably six, ten feet tall. Ten feet tall now. Little fig tree. I'm trimming so that uh, there'll be really interesting movement with the branches and the fruit will be low enough so I can pick it. Beautiful day, someplace in southwest Florida. One more shot. That top is so cool. Bye.